Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, has long been a subject of fascination for astronomers. This small red dwarf, discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Innes, is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which also includes Alpha Centauri A and B. Despite its proximity, just 4.24 light years away, it remains invisible to the naked eye due to its relatively low brightness. However, Proxima Centauri holds immense scientific value, especially as the host star of Proxima b, an exoplanet that orbits within the star's habitable zone. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are smaller, cooler, and much longer lived than stars like our Sun. Their low luminosity makes them challenging to observe, but it also means their habitable zones are much closer to the star. For Proxima Centauri, this translates to an orbital distance of just 0.05 astronomical units, a mere fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This close proximity exposes Proxima b to intense stellar activity, including frequent solar flares and high levels of radiation, making its environment starkly different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima b was a monumental achievement in exoplanet research. Using the radial velocity method, Astronomers detected subtle wobbles in Proxima Centauri's position caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These wobbles allowed scientists to estimate the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially confirmed the existence of Proxima b, marking a breakthrough in the search for potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. While ground-based observations have provided valuable insights into Proxima b, they come with significant limitations. Atmospheric distortion and light interference hinder the ability of Earth-based telescopes to capture detailed data about the planet's surface or atmosphere. Most of the information we have, such as its mass, distance from the star, and orbital characteristics, relies on indirect measurements. To uncover deeper truths about Proxima b's environment and its potential for life, more advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are indispensable. Proxima Centauri's role as a gateway to understanding exoplanetary systems cannot be overstated. As the closest star system to Earth, it offers a unique opportunity to study the conditions necessary for life. Proxima b, in particular, represents a tantalizing possibility. A rocky, Earth-sized planet with the potential to harbor water and maybe even life. However, the challenges posed by its harsh environment make it a complex puzzle for scientists to solve. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is not just another tool in the arsenal of astronomy. It is a revolution. Designed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST was envisioned to address the limitations of its predecessor and push the boundaries of human knowledge. While Hubble has provided invaluable insights into the cosmos, its capabilities are constrained by its focus on visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, in contrast, is built to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust and uncover phenomena invisible to Hubble. One of the key design features of JWST is its primary mirror, which spans a staggering 6.5 meters in diameter, more than double the size of Hubble's mirror. This larger mirror enables JWST to collect far more light, making it capable of observing extremely faint and distant objects. Coated with a thin layer of gold to enhance its infrared reflectivity, the mirror is composed of 18 hexagonal segments that work together to create a highly sensitive observational platform. Another groundbreaking innovation is JWST's five-layer sunshield which keeps the telescope's instruments at a constant temperature of about minus 233 degrees Celsius. This ultra-cold environment is crucial for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point, L2, a stable position approximately 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This location minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light, allowing JWST to maintain continuous observations. The telescope can study everything from the earliest galaxies to the atmospheres of exoplanets like Proxima b. Its focus on infrared light is particularly significant as it allows astronomers to study phenomena that are redshifted, objects whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths as the universe expands. JWST's capabilities extend far beyond mere observation. 
It is designed to answer some of the most profound questions in science, including the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the conditions that might support life on other planets. With its state-of-the-art instruments, including the near-infrared camera NIR cam, the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, and the near-infrared spectrograph NIR spec, JWST is not just a telescope. It is a time machine, a laboratory, and a beacon of human ingenuity. Proxima B has captivated scientists and the public alike as a potential second Earth. Situated within the habitable zone of its star, the planet has the right conditions to potentially support liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. With a mass roughly 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima B is likely a rocky planet, similar in composition to our own. Its proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal target for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima B is far from a perfect twin of Earth. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is in perpetual daylight while the other is in eternal darkness. This creates a unique environment with extreme temperature differences between the two hemispheres. The region where day meets night, known as the Terminator Line, may offer a narrow twilight zone with conditions moderate enough to support life. The challenges posed by Proxima B's environment are significant. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf known for its intense solar flares, which can emit bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time, exposing its surface to the harshness of space. If Proxima B retains any atmosphere, it likely requires a strong magnetic field to shield it from radiation. Without such protection, the surface environment would be hostile to life as we know it. Despite these challenges, scientists are optimistic about the potential for life on Proxima B. The planet's position within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water could exist either on its surface or in subsurface reservoirs. Life might adapt to the harsh conditions, much like extremophiles on Earth, Organisms that thrive in extreme environments such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents or high-radiation zones. These adaptations could include radiation resistance, subsurface habitats, or unique biochemical processes. The search for life on Proxima B is more than just a scientific endeavor. It is a quest to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Proxima represents a tantalizing possibility, a rocky, Earth-like world that might harbor the conditions necessary for life. As our technology advances, so too does our ability to explore this intriguing planet and uncover its secrets. While Proxima B presents tantalizing possibilities, its environment is profoundly influenced by the nature of its host star, Proxima Centauri. Unlike our Sun, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star smaller, cooler, and significantly less luminous. Its reduced size and temperature mean that its habitable zone is much closer, pulling Proxima b into an orbit just 0.05 astronomical units from the star, about 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. This proximity creates a unique set of challenges for the planet and any potential life it might host. One major issue is Proxima Centauri's stellar activity, particularly its intense and frequent solar flares. These flares are sudden, powerful eruptions of energy that release high doses of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Such events are far more common and energetic in red dwarfs than in stars like our Sun. For Proxima b, this means a constant bombardment of high-energy particles, which could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time. Without a protective magnetic field, any atmosphere on Proxima b would be vulnerable to erosion, leaving its surface exposed to harsh radiation. Even if Proxima b retains some of its atmosphere, the radiation from Proxima Centauri poses serious challenges to life. High levels of ultraviolet radiation can break molecular bonds, preventing the formation of complex organic compounds. This would severely limit the potential for life to develop or sustain itself on the planet's surface. On Earth, organisms like Deinococcus radiodurans have evolved mechanisms to repair DNA damage caused by radiation suggesting that life on Proxima b might similarly adapt. However, the level of radiation resistance required would be extreme, possibly necessitating entirely new biochemistries. Interestingly, Proxima b's tidally locked nature may offer some protection. 
While one hemisphere faces constant radiation from Proxima Centauri, the planet's dark side could serve as a refuge. Subsurface habitats or deep caves could shield potential life forms from the worst of the radiation. Similarly, if Proxima B has subsurface oceans, they could provide a stable, radiation-free environment where microbial life might thrive, much like the ecosystems around hydrothermal vents on Earth. Despite these challenges, scientists remain hopeful that Proxima B's extreme environment provides a unique opportunity to study the adaptability of life. By observing how organisms might survive or even thrive under such conditions, researchers can expand their understanding of what makes a planet habitable. Proxima B is not just a potential home for life. It is a natural laboratory for testing the limits of life itself. The planet's proximity to Earth and its position within the habitable zone of its star make it an ideal candidate for further study. With new telescopes and instruments, scientists will continue to monitor Proxima B for signs of habitability and life. Though the road ahead is fraught with challenges, Proxima B offers a fascinating glimpse into the possibilities of life beyond Earth. It serves as a reminder that our quest for knowledge and the search for life on other planets is only just beginning. As the search for life beyond Earth continues, the study of exoplanets like Proxima B plays a crucial role in broadening our understanding of what conditions are necessary for life to exist. One of the key factors that make Proxima B so intriguing is its relatively Earth-like size and composition, which makes it a prime candidate for studying the potential habitability of planets outside our solar system. Scientists are particularly focused on discovering planets with similar characteristics to Earth, as they offer the most promising environments for the development of life. To further investigate the possibility of life on Proxima B, Astronomers are utilizing a variety of cutting-edge techniques to analyze the planet's atmosphere, composition, and environmental conditions. One of the most promising methods is the study of exoplanet atmospheres through transmission spectroscopy. This technique involves observing how light from a star passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere during a transit, which can reveal the chemical makeup of the atmosphere. By analyzing the absorption lines in the spectrum of light, Scientists can detect the presence of gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are often associated with life on Earth. Detecting such gases on Proxima B could provide strong evidence that the planet might support biological processes. Additionally, researchers are exploring the possibility of microbial life beneath the surface of Proxima B. The idea of subsurface life has gained traction in recent years, particularly with the discovery of extremophiles on Earth, Organisms that thrive in environments once thought to be inhospitable, such as deep sea vents or acidic lakes, subsurface oceans or aquifers could provide a stable and protected environment, shielding life from the harsh radiation and solar flares that bombard the planet's surface. If Proxima B has a liquid water reservoir beneath its surface, it could increase the chances of finding microbial life that is adapted to extreme conditions, much like Earth's deep sea organisms. In addition to searching for life, Proxima B also offers an opportunity to learn more about the broader processes that govern planetary systems. The planet's location within the habitable zone of its star provides a unique opportunity to study the interactions between a planet and its host star, as well as how these interactions influence a planet's ability to sustain life. For example, the frequent solar flares emitted by Proxima Centauri may play a significant role in shaping the atmospheric conditions of Proxima b. These flares could influence the planet's climate, weather patterns, and even its magnetic field, all of which are crucial factors in determining whether the planet can support life. While the study of Proxima b is still in its early stages, the advancements in observational technology, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, offer scientists new tools to delve deeper into the mysteries of this exoplanet. JWST's infrared capabilities will allow for more detailed analysis of the planet's atmosphere, surface, and potential signs of habitability. As our understanding of exoplanets continues to evolve, Proxima b will remain at the forefront of efforts to answer one of the most profound questions in science. Is there life beyond Earth? Ultimately, the study of Proxima b is not just about finding alien life, but also about learning more about the conditions that make a planet habitable. By understanding the factors that contribute to a planet's ability to support life, scientists can apply this knowledge to other exoplanets in the future, 
expanding our search for life in the universe. The exploration of Proxima b is just one step in a long journey to uncover the vast and mysterious expanse of planets beyond our solar system. The study of Proxima b also contributes to our understanding of planetary formation and the evolution of star systems. By examining the relationship between Proxima b and its host star, Proxima Centauri, astronomers can gain insights into the dynamics of closing planets around red dwarf stars. These stars, which make up the majority of the stars in our galaxy, present unique challenges and opportunities for the formation of planets. The interactions between a red dwarf and its planets, particularly regarding stellar radiation and magnetic fields, can provide valuable clues about the types of planets that can form in such environments and their potential for habitability. Furthermore, Proxima b's location near a nearby star system raises questions about the movement and migration of planets. It is possible that Proxima b could have originated farther from its star and migrated inward over time. Understanding the mechanisms behind such planetary migration could help explain how habitable zones in other systems evolve and shift over billions of years, potentially altering the conditions for life on planets like Proxima b. As we continue to explore exoplanets, Proxima b stands as a critical piece in the puzzle of understanding where life could exist beyond Earth. Its study offers a glimpse into the future of exoplanet research and the broader search for life in the cosmos.